Do you see the dancing kettle? Howdy folks, welcome to Hirschberger's Miracle Homestead. I am Martha, and as you have guessed by now, we're having kitchen action today. We're turning this hamburger into goulash. The past week, we've had a number of new subscribers, so we want to give you a special welcome. We hope you enjoy this journey. We appreciate those of you that have left comments and shared a little bit of what's going on in your life, letting us get a glimpse of who you are. And yeah, we appreciate that. We welcome comments like that from anybody. And the ingredients we're using for this goulash, hamburger, bell pepper, onion, spaghetti sauce, cream and mushroom soup, and macaroni. And then for Buddy's specialty, we're using ketchup. It's much better if he doesn't eat a lot of the seasonings that go into the spaghetti sauce. So just like the pizza burgers, we do a special specialty for Buddy. I need a burner for the macaroni and for the burger. So we're going to work back here off the stove. And if you hear a little squeaker from a toy, it is our 14-week-old labs that we have kenneled up. And he's just right over here on the other side of where the camera will be. And he was playing with a squeaker toy. And... We have a cute little video I took of him this morning. He was out and playing with the dandelions. So I will insert that in here after this video and you can get to see little Gunner. Right there is Gunner with his grandma Cassie. And then turn the camera around this way and you have the kitchen action. I need to get the burners turned on and stuff going. Time is slipping away. Okay, the burner's on for the burger. Get the water turned on for the macaroni. And we will be putting salt in the water. That kettle always dances a little bit. <laughs> Gunner, no. Baby, no, 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 no. You get down. He is climbing the fence. Honey. Do you see the dancing kettle? Okay, Grandma Cassie's looking after Gunner right now. See how long that'll last before he gets sidetracked with something else. Okay, let's cut the dancing out. I'll start on the onions while the skillet's getting hot for the burger. We need to have another burger frying day so we can have hamburger in the freezer ready to go. So we don't have to fry out whenever we want to make something. A little bit of oil in here and settle the kettle down. You put salt and pepper to taste. We have this little gadget for the onions since it's a, gonna be a fine onion. I'm just gonna put it in there and whack it down. Just lay it across there. Boom! What was that gunner, huh? Boom! Here are the peppers we put in the freezer, but they're bigger than what I want for this. So I will just get the onions to the end down there. And lay the peppers on here and get them down to size. Guess what I forgot to do was make sure this little comb for cleaning this was out of here. 
And here it is. <laughs> So we'll just dump that in there now. This is the neatest thing to use for hamburger that you want to have crumbled. Now never leave a handle out this way. If little children come along and get a hold of it, that could be sad news for them. So I did it over here to hold it, to stir it, but now I'll swing it back in. The dancing water has now settled into a boil. And we will dump the macaroni in. Give it a stir. The stove should have two big burners, but anyway. Now, if you're not careful, macaroni can boil that it boils up and over. The wooden spoon will keep it from boiling over. I will stir the macaroni so it doesn't stick on the bottom. I'm sliding the burger toward one end of the skillet so the grease can go to the other end. And I can dip it off easier because this skillet is too heavy for me to pick up and pour it off right now. Now what I'll do is remove it from the heat and just, I have a colander inside there, had been my mom's colander. back over to where we started. Here is the cream of mushroom soup. And one of these days we might just figure out how to make our own. As we mentioned before, this is Buddy's. So we'll put ketchup to his. And this is more just a dump thing. I don't measure out. I just know that's about the color that I like. And then the spaghetti sauce, we'll use either one of these spaghetti sauces. If you let it pour onto the spoon, it won't splash the bed going down in. Here's a wooden spoon, we'll divvy out this macaroni. Looking good, looking good, smelling good too. It also works to do a big batch of this and put some in the freezer. And then you have a yummy freezer meal ready to go. I will start out with Buddy's. This is ours. And this will be for several meals. This is the food that we thoroughly enjoy. So this will be for several meals. These are ready to go in an oven preheated to 350 for an hour. But I'll pull it out in about 30 minutes to stir it to see if it needs any more liquid. So. And then we have enough for another meal, although that meal, it won't be a lot of leftovers, but this will give leftovers. Okie dokie, let me get it in the oven. Goulash two ways is out of the oven. Goulash made with spaghetti, goulash made with ketchup. This is enough for supper and leftovers. And then here we have 
a bag of each for the freezer, for a freezer meal to pull out when we need it. We hope you've enjoyed spending time with me in the kitchen. If you have, just ask you to smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, we'd love to have you subscribe and join our family on YouTube. And if you're just passing through, hope you've enjoyed it. And now I invite you to stay tuned for the golden thought. And now I'm going to roll a little clip of Gunner. And he was out this morning. I had him outside and he was playing with the dandelions. So I'll run that little video clip and then we'll follow up with the golden thought. Hi, and we welcome you to the Golden Thought of this episode. I am Martha, and I am here with Buddy, who is my twin. His given name is Marvin, but he's better known as Buddy. Isn't that right, Buddy? Yep. <laughs> the Golden Thought for today, and he said to them, Go into all the world and proclaim the gospel to all creation. Mark 16, 15. And this verse is inspired today for... A special reason and as it says go into all the world but you know wherever you are whatever country you're in whatever state whatever your location that is a part of the world so be faithful where God calls you to whether it's what people consider home or abroad and Dorothy and I and Buddy we celebrated a special milestone we passed our first year anniversary of having our YouTube channel. Along with that, we have started doing some shorts lately, and we felt led to do a verse for the day short. So every day, a verse for the day is going to go out. It's with the picture that I took and the bird sounds that I recorded. Most of the time, it'll be Dorothy's voice that you hear. But I want to give you a little history of the picture talking about going into all the world the Lord called my brother Paul while he lived here in the States the Lord called him to go to Liberia and often it was spending two months out of the year going into the bush there were times he had to walk for hours to get to a little village in the bush to tell people about Jesus. Probably about four or five years ago, he had a trip scheduled to go over again. And I wanted something special on my phone, so whenever I see it, it reminds me to pray for Paul. And I thought, well, the big airplane takes him over there. So I kept watching the sky for airplane streaks through the sky. And I don't know how many pictures I clicked. The picture I chose, I did not see the cloud formation when I took the picture but after I was home and looking through the pictures it just jumped out at me it, it looks like a bird with a mouth open and it's chirp 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 so that's the picture I chose to have on my phone and every time I saw that airplane streak it was reminding me to pray for Paul pray for the people so that picture became special well today also marks an anniversary and that is three years ago was 2020 the Lord called Paul home to his heavenly home in April of 2020 and of course that was a COVID year and April is a bad month so they had a memorial service for him in July thankfully Paul was here in the United States in his home territory when he passed away when Dorothy and I felt the urge to start a verse of the day going out on shorts, why we were wondering how to do it, 
trying to process everything, how to do it, and we decided to use this picture because the cloud formation looks like a bird. It looks like the bird is chirping. So we're using that picture. And so we hope and pray that people will be blessed by the verse of the day, and we are going to close this golden thought with one of the shorts. So if you see this come up in your short speed, you know it's more than likely from Hershberger's Miracle Homestead. We thank you for joining us today. We hope you've been blessed, encouraged. If you have, please like, share, and subscribe. And for our subscribers that we have, we thank you for that already. We're glad you're part of our YouTube family. Ain't that right, buddy? Yes, sir. We talked about Paul, didn't we? Yeah, Paul's in heaven with Jesus. And mom and dad and brother Burn and brother Ray. And sister-in-law Betty. Uh-huh. Very good. All right, buddy. You can shake my hand today. We're done. You can shake my hand. All right, all right. Oh, I should not have said we're done. We're going to do another one, bud. <laughs> Chirping a verse for the day. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Psalm 1914. May God bless you on your journey.